again everybody. I am continuing doing my box openings of my big huge doll haul that I got from Dolly Teria, um, also known as Claus's Child. Um, I did a box opening which hopefully is posting to Facebook or YouTube now um, of all of the clothing and accessory items that I purchased um, with this haul. Um, I also purchased three dolls. I know it's a little crazy, but very fairly priced Dolly Terrier. I'm very, very pleased with um, my entire experience from shopping on their website to um, purchasing and waiting for shipping and then opening the box and discovering everything very, very nicely packaged, including each of the dolls and the pricing as well. I'm very satisfied with that they did not price gouge at all. Um, I think their resale prices are very, very fair. Um, so. The first uh, doll that I'm going to open is a Volks Dolphy Dream, um, Dolphy Dream, Cheryl Gnome. I have been kind of uh, loving this doll from afar, seeing a couple of people um, using her regularly in photography, and I just was falling in love with her face. Um, Dolphy Dream I was trying to get away from as I got more into Smart Doll, and I was also kind of sad that I, I was getting more into dolls in general just as Volks changed the internal uh, frame and really the whole entire body of Dolphy Dream. They did that a few, maybe a year or two ago now. They went from whatever the previous body was called to uh, an F3, so like a frame number three, it's their version three, which I guess means they probably went through uh, one and two, and I was probably somewhere in the one or twos for most of my other dolls. I have uh, like four or five Volks Dolphy Dreams, um, but they've all started to break down, and they're all pre-F3, and I was very uh, like hesitant to try to get another Dolphy Dream because there's just no support from Volks for these older bodies. Um, you can't buy replacement parts anymore. Uh, you can basically take the heads off of your old Dolphy Dreams and put them onto new F3 bodies. They do. They maintain their skin tones, uh, but you'd have to get whole new bodies if you wanted to replace them. Um, when I asked in a couple of um, Dolphy Dream groups how Cheryl Gnome held up, a lot of people said that her she did pretty well and really they didn't have any issues. I imagine that I'm not going to. Um, pose her a lot or do a lot with her other than I have a few outfits for her. Um, this is the full set that she came with with this outfit and I happen to have this outfit already. Um, so either I'll have to have somebody twin with her or I might just have to resell that outfit. But um, I'm just going to go ahead and do the box opening for this Volks Dolphy Dream show now. And I'm just going to say again I'm very pleased with Dolly Teria. Um, the, the entire experience was very, very nice. Um, the, my, my only disappointment was that I tried to buy a couple of things that ended up uh, selling before I was able to purchase. Um, they, of course, sell on multiple selling platforms, and they say right within all of their listings and on their main website that some of these, you know, these items are listed in multiple areas. So. Um, they may end up selling before they're able to take the auction down and if you purchase it they just and they find that it's been sold they just immediately front refund you which they did for me I purchased uh, two items that ended up selling before I was able to before they were able to gather them up for me they did mention interestingly enough with those two items though to check back because of course they always continue to get more uh, items in or sometimes for whatever reason that particular item may get relisted um, So they just said, you know, check back and see if that those items come available again. I, I haven't checked back since then um, for those particular items, but um, I was okay with that. They were, they, it was one was like a really small, like uh, small uh, doll outfit and then one was a backdrop. Um, for, phot for photography purposes. So here is the Vokes Dolphy Dream Cheryl Gnome. It's a full set box. I'm sorry, it's so big it doesn't even fit from where I have the computer at. Um, 
It says Macross Frontier, Dolphy Dream, Cheryl Gnome. It has the anime logo, I would guess. I never really watched Macross, but I just, I love the look of this doll. She's so cute. Her face is beautiful. I love this outfit enough to buy it as a standalone thing that somebody was selling. Um, so, now I have it for the actual doll it belongs to, but I this is the full set doll, so her outfit comes with this. So I'm just going to go ahead and slide the box off. Um, for people who are like collectors, fanatics, this box is not in perfect condition. There is, you can see somewhere like the scuffing that comes on boxes. Um, there's a little bit of dents here or there, but I'm, I'm not concerned with that. That doesn't bother me. I'm not that much of a hardcore collector to be worried with the box. So, standard kind of silver Volks box on the inside, kind of like the bed. Nice and uh, bubble wrapped. And let's see what we get in here. So, removing the bubble wrap. She's not in perfect condition, so don't be scared. Um, she does have a little bit of um, like dirt smudges on her body. Um, and some weird crackling going on at her neck. But I think that all can be washed off. So, sorry for the doll nudity. Um, there is some dirt scuffs here, maybe here, and then uh, on her abdomen, and even on her head. But I think those really are like, just they could just wipe off. I'm not concerned with that at all. And it's on her body where there's not really any blushing, so I'm not really concerned about that either. You know, the funny thing is I've never bought a full set um, Volks Dolphy Dream before. I have Dolphy Dreams that I've purchased in the past, but I've never gotten uh, like a character full set, I think. So I'm not totally sure where the other stuff is. It must be underneath the white box, maybe. Um, but I'm just going to test her joints. Ooh, even her backside has <laughs> some scuffing there. You can kind of see the dirt there. Um, I am not concerned with this at all. Like, this is going to be very easy to clean up. Um, so as you can see, she should be able to stand on her own. There we go. Standing. Very good. Sorry again for the doll nudity. Um, look at this face, you guys. Just look at her. She's got those beautiful blue anime style eyes. And that face up. It's just beautiful. She's got very light blushing on her cheeks. Um, her eyes or her lips have a little bit of gloss so they shine um, she's a little dusty she definitely needs some tender loving care but I'm not concerned with this the, the interesting thing is her bust like the uh, is this supposed to be part of that I'm not familiar with my cross no it can't be this cannot be part of it um, there's like crack line fissures I've never seen that on a dolphin before because it's vinyl, so I don't know if that's <laughs> deterioration. I don't know if my video is going to be able to pick this up. If you can see, it's like here along her abdomen, and then up here by the neck. Let's see if we can get that. Oh, there, you can just see it when the light kind of goes over it. I don't know what that is. I'll try to take a close-up picture of it. I'm sure it's due to the age of the doll. I'm not horribly worried about it because she's going to be in like outfits most of the time. And when I'm looking at these joints, her joints almost look like a different color than her arms. Again, that could be due to aging. I'm guessing that her skin tone is semi-white, um, but the joints look a little bit darker. Um, it's possible that the previous owner had to replace those elbows. Um, that was the problem that I experienced um, on my dolphies. Their elbow joints broke and their hip joints broke. One, I, the leg is completely off. I have no way to put it back on. I'd have to get her a new body. Some people are willing to um, fix uh, injured dolphies. One thing that I really appreciate about um, dolphies, uh, it's just a little bit different feature from Smart Dolls is um, just how far, Smart Dolls can sit like this, but they don't, I don't think they can quite achieve this complete 45 degree angle, they're more like this, 
like slightly leaned back and it's just due to the internal frame design um, but otherwise really to me Volks and or Dolphys and Smart Dolls are just so similar in um, body and uh, posing capabilities and because Volks has been around longer I feel like you know third-party artists have started to make um, internal pieces um, to be able to change the flexibility at the joints. Um, I know, like for example, one of the newer people, newer artists that I've um, seen around is uh, Adika. They're making like a full upper body where you can just pop the arms and head on and then you get this whole different flexibility capability. Um, but I think overall she's holding her poses nicely so her joints are nice and tight. There is, again, that weird like crackling on her abdomen piece here. Her whole body needs to be cleaned for sure. Um, even her head here has this kind of like dirt smudge going up above her eyes. Um, but overall her face up is beautifully intact. Her eyes are just that really lovely blue and they're, they look nicely placed. Um, and I am glad that her, her joints are all good because I would be devastated if I had to, if I got a doll that would need like replacement parts right away. Other than the cleaning, I'm not too worried about it. So I'm pretty happy with that. So now I'm going to go on. Um, sorry, let's see if I can cover her up a little bit. <laughs> um, I, again, I, I'm not totally familiar with a Volk's full set, so I'm guessing the clothing pieces must be um, under here. Oh yeah, here we go. So it's just one little package. There's this, and this is like, it looks like one of those neck donuts, um, but it looks pretty kind of beat up, so I don't know. I think Volk sells replacements of these. Um, I don't, I've never used one, so I don't know. This, to me, looks almost like brand new, like never been worn type thing. But I'm just going to go ahead and, and dress her in this. Um, you know, I'm not seeing here, but it could be. I just haven't come across it yet. Um, is her wig. So it may be that she doesn't have her wig. Which is not a total loss. Um, maybe that's why she was a little less expensive because she didn't come with her wig. Um, I have, like I said, I have this outfit and I think I may have the wig with it. Maybe. I don't know. Well, that's too bad about the wig. I, I thought it came with it. Alright, so she's just going to have to go bald. So, there's lots of little accessories here with this um, full outfit. I think I've actually watched somebody get her dressed in this full outfit. Oh, she even has bracelets. There's so many accessories here. Um, so, you know, if you go out and search for Cheryl Milne, um, you might come across multiple videos for her, and now mine too. All right, so let's see what we've got here. There's the main outfit, which is like skirt, um, skirt, bodice, and jacket. Look at that. Let's set that aside because there is lots of little things here. Um, <laughs> there's a bow. I think that belongs in her hair, but no wig. Yeah, there's definitely no wig. That's a little too bad. But like I said, I think I have her outfit or her hair from another the outfit that I purchased. Um, so it's not a total loss. Plus, I could totally find another longer blondish kind of wig with the curls. I'm not totally upset about that. So this is not 100% full set, but I think she was priced accordingly because she is an older doll, and I think she's in higher demand. Um, and like I said, I've in the, the other video where I did the um, opening for all the accessories, uh, I... She was actually on the Dolly Terry site in a couple listings, and this one was radically reduced in price compared to the other ones. Um, and it must just be because she didn't have her wig. But I, again, am not terribly upset with that. So, I have to refer to the picture to figure out how this all goes. 
Um, all right, so undergarment plus stocking. Let's see if I can get this on her. I, I almost feel silly. Okay, so picking her up, um, even though I was able to get her to stand up on her own, I just saw that the leg appeared to be a little loose. Again, that doesn't terribly concern me, only because I'm just not going to do a lot with her. I would love to maintain her um, as much as I can, so I'm just going to probably dress her and then keep her in like a single outfit for a really long time. I have uh, one other outfit of hers besides this one um, that I purchased separate. I actually took a picture of one of my smart dolls in it because it fit my smart doll lovely. Just, just perfectly and so now I have two outfits for her I would love to get um, I think she has like maybe three or four maybe even outfits out there of hers kind of like Snow Miku who has had many uh, outfits released for her um, so it's just kind of like that where they continue to release really gorgeous outfits for her full set though and I'm not totally because I have never really bought directly from Volks everything, all Volks things that I own, besides a few clothing items, um, I have purchased secondhand. Um, I've never bought a doll direct from Volks because I don't, other than Volks USA, I've never tried to purchase directly from like Volks Japan. Um, where was I going with that? I don't even know. Um, but I, so I, I've gotten most things secondhand. Oh, what I was getting at was I'm not totally familiar with when um, they do a release of a character like this and then they do um, alternate clothing outfits later, like Snow Miku. I even asked it on um, a recent announcement for a Snow Miku outfit that like anchors away one, which is so uh, such an adorable outfit. Like, can you get the doll again as like a full set with this new outfit? Or is it just the outfit re for release for the original doll? Because I would think they'd have to re-release the doll again um, for people who didn't originally get her, but now love the new outfit versions that they release. Um, I would think they would have had to have done that with Cheryl Milne too, but maybe not. Um, all right, so there is her undergarment. I think one of the reasons that I kind of like this... Uh, character design is especially this outfit is because it, it like I said I'm not familiar with Cheryl Gnome or Macross Frontier I never watched that series um, but it does remind me especially like with the shredded uh, stockings here it reminds me very much of a manga that I really liked called uh, um, Princess Eye it was written um, by Courtney Love, I think, and maybe like co-authored or like the art was created by somebody. Um, but I really like the looks of this. It makes me think of that character a lot. So anyway, all right, let's see here. Let's see if I can figure this all out. Um, not totally sure what this part is for. Is this the necklace? Oh, yes, this is the necklace. <laughs> okay, so let's put that on her. I think it should be okay to put this on before putting the top on. Oh, I'm so excited for this doll. I've really been loving her lately, seeing her being posted by um, other owners, and she's just, she's so cute. All right. And this outfit is fantastic. I loved it and I bought it long before I had her. Um, I bought it secondhand from another um, owner. I don't know if that owner had um, Cheryl Gnome, but I loved the outfit and definitely bought it separate. Oh, I'm definitely gonna have to give her a gentle cleaning, um, but I'm so happy to have her. She's kind of been just one I've been really watching lately. Alright, so I have the skirt on. 
And it does look like there's some extra snaps, which I think are for is for this piece. Um, question is, okay, it must go like this. Let's see. So they go. Oh, she is like big busted. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can figure this out here. It kind of folds like over the skirt, so I'm actually going to unsnap the skirt again and put this in here so I can get this into the skirt part. All right, so there's that. And then snap up the skirt again. supposed to look like a lovely uh, tail coming off and again she has a bow in here that um, has like wiring to kind of shape the flow of the bow I guess it's supposed to kind of go off like this way and tail off that way so let's see if I can get her um, bustier on. You know what is another thing that I don't see in here, which is even more upsetting than the hair, although the hair again is not that upsetting. Um, no shoes. Oh, oh, that makes me, I'll have to see if I can find them. I have this outfit too and I didn't get shoes with the other outfit either. Um, at least I'm pretty sure I didn't. I'll have to check and see, but I'm pretty sure it did not come with shoes. Um, now I can't get her stand up because the skirt is so heavy. Uh, why are shoes so hard to keep with dolls? I'm telling you, uh, if I ever get an outfit that has a pair of shoes with it, I will sell the outfit with the shoes. I'll be like, nope, can't, can't do separate. Now this is interesting. So I suppose if you wanted to change out the bust of your Cheryl Gnome. There's again different size, different sizing for the um, hooks at the back of this to allow for different bust sizes, I guess. But they're not staying put while I put this around here. So let me see if I can do this. I would guess that she is currently in the biggest bust, but I don't know. I'm not totally familiar with the different bus sizes from Volks. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. It looks like it's supposed to come up a little higher, so maybe she is wearing a bigger bus. Let me go out one more size with this. See if I can pull this corset piece up a little bit more on her bust. Alright, so let's see if I can get that up some more. It really fits beautifully on her bust. And then you get that nice little um, tummy showing there. Um, I do believe this probably Let's see, so this belt probably, does it slip on? No, it can't slip on. Oh, there we go, it just opens up. Question is, where does it go exactly? All right, so I think it just goes underneath this big bow and then kind of sits at the top of the skirt. And then like the, um, um, let's go underneath the little bow at the back of the dress so that it has space to come up, I think. The only thing is, is this doesn't actually have a closer, it just has kind of like a loop to like stick it under 
to make it stay and I don't know how it would stay exactly with like the weight of that bow kind of pressing down on it I feel like it would fall but let's see and the loops on the belts do move so that you can kind of get a different look let's see what we got here so moving that down again, and then pulling that tight so that it kind of stays where it belongs. All right, so now we have the belt on. She still has her kind of belly look going, and the bow, and then the jacket. I wonder if I'll have to chop her hands off or if those jacket, if those sleeves will fit in the jacket. Maybe, maybe not, if it's hard to tell. This jacket is awesome. It's really beautifully tailored. Um, even her hands, man. Even her hands need a little bit of tender loving care. I haven't fiddled with a um, Dolphy Dream in so long that my Dolphys have kind of been put away. I don't know how easy it is to change their hands out. I never really got uh, alternate hands for them. I'm used to changing out the hands for smart dolls now, and I assume that it's a similar process, but I don't know. One hand is coming out easier than the other. Right, so I got one sleeve on. Uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh my gosh, this is just such a beautifully tailored outfit. I love it when they make them so perfectly fitted to the doll. I mean, that's awesome that they can recreate um, the character so well. All right, so now she has her full on outfit on. Definitely a little top heavy. Sorry, there's my phone. Hold on just a second. Okay, sorry about that. All right, <laughs> so I am trying to slide on her um, underwear, but it's like, you know, like that leathery kind of like pleather stuff, and I don't see it opening, going up over her hips. Um, so I'm just going to leave it for now. I don't want to struggle with it on video, um, but I do want to take a look at all these little accessories that come with. Um, but this is her undergarments, and it's a little intriguing because her underwear has pockets. <laughs> I guess that's handy, um, but I don't know. All right, so what we need to do is, I know, oh, see, here this belt just came loose again because I was moving her around. I feel like it needs a snap or something. Um, I mean, it stays if you're not messing with it, but maybe they just figured because people might adjust how low her uh, skirt sits on her hips. I don't know. I feel like that needs um, some thought. I don't have her cute little, her hair. I didn't go to look for it or anything, um, but this would be her hat with the veil. This veil is really stiffly set out. You can see it's kind of sticking out, so I'll have to like um, kind of fold that down so that it hangs down instead of sticking out. The inside of the hat has um, clips to put to connect to her hair, so that's kind of nice. There's bells. It's a really lovely hat. Um, so hat and underwear are getting set aside. She has. Um, three bracelets. They are metal, but they're like open. They're openable. Like they aren't a solid piece. You can see there the opening. Um, it's right there. So I wonder if these slip over her hand or if you have to take her hands off or if you have to open up the metal rings. Um, it's not slipping over her, the standard hand that she has. And I 
cannot remember how easy it is to pull these hands off. I don't really want to pull her hands off, so I'm skipping the bracelets for now. This to me is definitely for the hair because it has it's on a little bobby pin. So I can't do that because I'm in here for her. Um, these are gloves, it looks like. So let's see. Are they the same exact style? One is like a glove with a hand and this uh, or a thumb and glove. So one has a rose on it and one doesn't. And it looks like to me in the picture on the box they have the rose on her left hand. So let's see if I can slide that on her hand. Now I'm curious to know, people who have had her for forever, um, do you keep these gloves on because it's a dark fabric and I would wonder if it would stain her hand. Um, I am saying that these are not the easiest to put on, but the fabric is super stretchy. So, let me see if I can adjust this so I can get her fingers all in there. Okay, let's see. Maybe if I do this way. I would feel like this fabric would definitely stain, but maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I have one other doll that wears a dark colored glove, my Akari Mizunashi, um, the anime character from the series area. She wears a blue glove on her hand uh, to indicate that she is an in-training undying haven't seen the series <laughs> just give it a watch I don't really want to go into explaining all that but oh let's see okay it wasn't totally impossible to put that glove on and it actually looks pretty nice um, as an accessory so I got one glove on let's see if I can get the other glove on the um, rings are really nice or the, I shouldn't say the rings, the bracelets. Um, but when I'm pulling on her hand to try to like get the hand off, it's not coming off of the peg, it's pulling out from the stem. And I don't, I just don't wanna mess with that right now. All right, so thumb is there. And hand, let's see. So, a doll with a lot of accessories definitely takes a minute to <laughs> prepare, but I think once you get all those accessories on, it really brings the character out. Especially if it's an anime character that the doll company has faithfully recreated as best as they could. So... Here is her other glove. Thank goodness they use this material that is so stretchy. Um, this is the leg belt to keep that, um, that free stocking that isn't connected to her undergarments um, up. So let's see if we can get that to stay. It's a very simple, just slide over the leg type thing and then hook it into the loop that is on the stocking. Okay, so I say simple and now it's like being impossible. There we go. Oh, nope, I just kinda did it not correct, quite correctly. So it's just a ribbon, what this loop is made out of and I kinda just popped it through. I, hook, I put the hook through like the middle of the ribbon. Hope that wouldn't be weakening the ribbon. Let's see here if I can get this all the way through. There we go. Alright, so then pull up the leg. This will be another thing. Well, actually they, Volks made the inside of this leg belt um, white so it doesn't affect the skin. She does have some other accessories in here. Um, some uh, 
um, lip uh, tattoos, like um, to put, oh, on her bust, I think is where it belongs. And then there is this big old heavy chain in here. I don't see it on the picture. It has a clasp. I don't know what it would be for. I don't see it on her picture. Oh, I'm sad about the shoes. That's too bad. The wig, not terrible. The shoes, not great. I don't know what this is for. Anybody know what the what this big bracelet is for? Or chain, I should say. Um, and then there is one last little accessory. It's an earring, it appears. Um, but I have no clue as to how you would attach it. I know people, Volks doesn't, they send dolls with earrings or they make earring accessories. Here's the doll, the accessory up close so you can see it. Um, it looks like there's a hole at the top to like slide a pin through. So you'd have to pierce your doll's ears. It doesn't appear that her ears were ever pierced. Uh, but I don't know how you would attach that. Do you have to buy your own earring or what? I don't know. So... Here she is, fully dressed. Oh, and she did come with her microphone. So let's see if I can put that in her hand. Does the chain connect to the microphone maybe? All right, so she, holds, she handles her microphone pretty nicely. That's pretty cool. There you go. No wig. <laughs> the um, stocking belt is pretty cute. The outfit overall is beautiful. The doll itself, for as old as she is, um, I don't know when she was released exactly, um, is in pretty good shape, except her bust um, has cracking, and there's definitely, her body needs a gentle cleaning. Um, overall, for the price that she was, um, she's in excellent, excellent condition for her age and the price that I purchased her at, because I, I feel like I got her for about half of what she, I have seen her go for, um, on Dolly Terrier. Yeah, no wig, no shoes, whatever. It's okay. I have lots of shoes and, um, lots of wigs, so we'll find something else for her. I think looking at the picture, um, there's probably should be more of these little hair bows to put in her hair. It looks to me like there's at least three and I have one. Um, but overall, very, very lovely. I'm, I'm super excited to have this pretty doll in my collection. I'll just have to find her some hair and um, get her some shoes. So here is, again, Volks Dolphy Dream, maybe Dynamite, I'm not sure, uh, Cheryl Gnome from Macross Frontier Anime. So thank you guys so much for watching. I have a couple more um, boxings, unboxings I have to do, two more dolls. Um, all purchased from Dolly Terrier. Again, I am highly recommending Dolly Terrier um, for all of your dolly needs. <laughs> um, secondhand or brand new. Though. I feel like a lot of their stuff, it's being sold as secondhand, but I feel like, you know, doll collectors just sometimes never open up the um, accessories that come with dolls. So, um, all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll have a few more videos to post today.